everybody, Chuck and Stacy here with VO Buzz Weekly, and now for a moment of gratitude. Yes. Uh, man, you guys have been hitting that subscribe button down there, and we really, really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Any of you that haven't subscribed yet, don't be left out. Yes! Hit the button so right now. Easy. So easy. Hey, and then we're ready to go with part two with Eric Poole right now of Second Sense Creative. Let's get buzzed. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to VO Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacey J. Aswan. What about in sessions? What are some do's and don'ts that, that happen in sessions? Um, I would say, for starters, um, once again, be nice. Be as accommodating as you can be. Um, as soon as I sense attitude in somebody, mm -hmm. it's it's downhill from there. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, um, and that doesn't happen very often. Most people are so gracious and grateful, you know, that that rarely happens. But like I'm I'm somebody I I wouldn't I'm not difficult, but I mean I I, I am very much a multiple takes. I want to get this right kind mm -hmm. of person, you know. Conscientious. Yeah, well, yeah. I, yeah, and I like to have materials to work with, you yeah. know what I mean? Because I'm very much I can take a word from here and a, and a line from here, and a, mm -hmm. you know, I almost never use a full take of anything, you know, because mm -hmm. it's just rare that somebody's going to give you that much good material in one, yeah. you know. Yeah, straight to through. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So just do do your thing and don't go, oh, there's how many, you know? It's yeah, like, just do it. Yeah, yeah. Because even within that, it may only be a five or ten minute session. It's not like you know, right. we're not digging ditches here, you know. <laughs> right. So right, yeah, yeah. Uh, what about yeah. like? Uh, you know, because obviously, you know, you were at Joe Cipriano's during his promo master class and stuff like that, and being involved in that class, do you see a lot of value in things like that for people that really want to do, because it's such a specialized area. You, know, you really got to know your stuff. Oh, my God. There, you, I'm sure you guys have, have run into this, friends who are like, oh, I could do that. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, my God. People have no idea how difficult that, that yeah. art form is. Right, yeah. right. And I think those classes are absolutely imperative for anybody who wants to get into the business mm -hmm. because you know you have to learn your craft. Yeah, I agree too. I've met so many people that you know are really good at commercials and maybe even great at animation or narration or whatever and they're like, "Oh yeah, you know what? I want to do promos." And mm -hmm. I'm like, "Can you deliver an actual promo read in the style of a real promo of today, 2017?" Yeah. And half of the time they're like, what do you mean? <laughs> you know, because yeah. I mean? they don't even understand what that is. So right. it is like almost comparing like rock music to classical music. Yeah. It is a different read. It is. It absolutely is. You know, uh, somebody playing Goldilocks in a commercial for a hotel chain is going to be very different than somebody delivering a, a, a read for Gotham or some Marvel comic right. series. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. They're completely different art forms. Yeah. yeah. And the other thing is, is and tell me if you think this is true. Don't argue with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, tell me if you think this the is true. The correct response that, is yes. That yeah. when you're okay. delivering a promo read, like, I hear a lot of people delivering what they think the guy should sound like, mm -hmm. rather than being true to, who, to they are. who they are. Absolutely. I didn't hire you to approximate what somebody else does. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I hired you for what you do. And you know, that's something I would say also, um, if I can talk for a second about um, yeah, people's of demo reels. Yeah. Of course. Um, you know, one thing that I discovered very early on in the business was, I'm going to mentally slot you. So what I need from you is I, I need to know what you do best mm -hmm. and make the, your demo reel focus on what you do best. Don't try to be all things to all people, mm -hmm. you know, because that, that is the worst to me because every producer, I guarantee you, slots people mentally and so uh, this guy's good for this, this guy's good for that, this woman does this fantastically. Right. With that in mind, you want your demo reel to reflect that thing that you do the best and you want to bring that to the table, mm -hmm. you know, when you're, when, you're, when you're reading. I'm not hiring you to do you know, uh, Don LaFontaine, you know? Right. right, right. So within a demo, you have your, you know, the classic phrase, your signature. Mm -hmm. um, but that, even within your signature, there's different energy and color, but Absolutely. still, you don't want the demo to be like this roller coaster of right. schizophrenic right. Yeah, <laughs> ramblings, that's exactly right? It. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, that's exactly, that's the perfect description of it, because it's like, you, you can show five different versions of that signature thing, and then a couple of other things, if you know, if you want and, and stuff, but, right. but yeah, but give, me, give me colors of that, and, and so that I can know how to, to slot you, and agents talk about this as well, it's like, we need a hook. We need something to sell you on. Yes, you know, yes. saying, oh, he can do everything, that doesn't mean shit to anybody. Right, you right. Know. How long do you listen to demos? Do you? 
Um, well, most demos these days tend to be what a minute, a minute? fifteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so I can sit. I can sit that long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But do you He's sit that, that long, long after the first two spot if you're not? Do you? No, no. I will say if 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 it's clear that this is. You know, if I'm listening for um, for a specific reason, like I'm looking for a specific type of voice, yeah, mm -hmm. it doesn't take me long to, you know, after three three cuts within that demo, I can mm -hmm. tell whether they're the right person yeah. or not. Right. Yeah. But most of most stuff these days is done with auditions and stuff as well. So yep. you know, right. they're reading my actual right. copy or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How long within an audition, say a piece of commercial copy, how many words in do you go? Yeah, no. I mean, do you do you know within off mark on three mark. words, yeah. four words? Um, it varies. It really varies depending yeah. on the project. If it's if it's an actor playing a role, I think I give them more time than if it's a promo mm -hmm. because promos are so specific and they tend to be shorter. Right. Um, I probably five, six, eight seconds mm -hmm. as a general rule. Isn't that sad? No, it's so. No, it's That's not. For promo, not really good. for, yeah. for, yeah. for yeah. commercials, but yeah. for promos. Yeah. Have you commercials ever? nine seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you a solid double yeah, really, ten because really. I'm like a nice guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm feeling have generous you, today. Have you ever heard back an audition, really digged the voice, but the read wasn't, really wasn't quite right and had that talent re-audition or re-read yes. mm -hmm. and resend it to submit it to a client or something like absolutely. that. Absolutely, yeah? yes, absolutely. Because sometimes somebody will have just the right voice quality or they're, they're just you can see their personality in yep. the read in a yeah. way that you're like, well, this, this isn't, and a lot of times what I'll just do is send the, uh, we'll just send the client that read and say, this can be better, this is what we want. Mm -hmm. Just you know, go with us and trust us on this and, and know that we'll get a better read out of that actor. Right, you know? right. Beautiful. Very but sometimes cool. we will re-audition them too. It depends on the client, yeah. how, how much you feel like that client needs to hear exactly what it's gonna mm -hmm. sound like. Yeah. You know? yeah. So this is a two-part question. Oh. All right, um, I'll probably forget the second a. part by the time the first part is No, you done. won't. Number one, the current trend or trends in that promo reads, mm -hmm. stylistically speaking, right? I mean, obviously things are probably a little bit different today than they were seven years ago. Yep. Um, so number one, current trends. Number two, in your opinion, for a man or a woman, if you know that too, is there a particular read that really, really gets asked for a lot? Like for example, you know, uh, hip cool. Do they want younger? Do they want more announcer? Like the demographic, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would say, well, as a general rule, and I'm sure you've probably heard this from other people as well, a lot more conversational, a lot more sort of real voices as opposed to the big, deep, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. uh, and voice and of God sir. announcers. Mm -hmm. Not That's not to say that those people don't still get a lot of work, yeah. but there is definitely a trend towards younger, cooler sort of voices mm -hmm. right. as a whole, uh, both men and women. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I, I get a lot with women when I'm doing women for either promos or for um, for advertising spots is younger voices. They don't. They don't want the smoky. Right. You know, right. Cosmetic -y sound. Yeah. They want mm -hmm. brighter. Yeah. You're a perfect example of that. <laughs> and we didn't bring this up for this <laughs> reason, not but, that voice. <laughs> but seriously, <laughs> because so you know, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do this for any promotional reason. No, seriously. Eric has not been compensated for his comments, but please do continue, Eric. <laughs> well, I was I was telling Stacey that I was listening to her demos the other day, and it's like she has that perfect kind of bright, soft, fun, upbeat sound that doesn't sound, there are people in that range who can sound like they're trying too hard mm -hmm. or um, or they're affecting the youthful sound and stuff and you don't. Yours just comes well, out completely you. naturally and that's a big selling point for women. It, that's it that's, really a, that's an area where you can get a lot yeah. of work. Thank it you really very is. Much. If I can brag about Stacy for oh, a well, second now, here, geez. Uh, I mean, how why don't I throw show. my fishing no, line? No. I... One of the cool things is that you know I hear Stacy auditioning from home, obviously, mm. all the time, almost mm. every day, and. Man, she is like, and sometimes she'll be like, hey babe, can you come and listen to this and tell me what you think? Yeah. And it's like, it's always the same exact thing. I'm like, and I just leave because it's so good. Aww, she has become you. so good at self-directing herself and really looking at something and just going like blah, blah, and just being really, really true mm -hmm. to being Stacy. Yeah. yeah. You well, know? and that's, that's she's selling exactly what she should be selling, yeah. you know what I mean? Exactly. And, and that's how I can slot her, you know what I yeah. mean? I, I know exactly what kind of stuff she'd be great for. So uh, that's, you know, that's half the battle right there. Please have an well, apple. Thank you. <laughs> He's gonna give her an apple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Bribe you with Very the apple. Cool. Yeah, well, you know, because I think that that's 
a valid point to get it off of me for a second. But I mean, I think a lot of people hear, oh, they hear what's out there and they think, well, let me try to be, because there's, there's a difference between emulating and imitating for the purposes of, let me parrot that back to develop myself within that sound. That's, that's absolutely That's a right. totally different thing. Yes. Than trying to say, well, I'm going to now be like, you know, I'm going to be the smoky girl. Right, right. Yeah. I it's mean, like a, have, I'm a caricature of myself. Well, exactly. If you have a naturally young, friendly sort of sound or something, great. Then work within your own personality to develop that sound. Right. You know, don't try to just sound like somebody else who's yeah. already doing yeah. that voice. Yeah. Absolutely. Love it. So did you say They're looking trends? for me. So the current trends is that. <laughs> yeah. I, I think They're young conversation. Yeah, she. Yeah. yeah. Stacey is the current okay. trend. Check. We got it. All right. Great. Call me. Glad um, it's helpful to everyone else. Stacey's okay. getting all the work. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ew. Table for three. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's so much. No, but I would say just as a general rule, yeah. More younger, more conversational, cooler sound. You know, even for some of the, the big dramas lately, I've, you know, I've seen a, a lot of of that more, less polished sort of sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. Um, so you... I mean, I love, we, like we said, you know, back in the beginning, it was so cool to watch you working with actors, directing, redirecting. Um, there's a lot of people out there coaching. There's mm -hmm. a lot of people doing workshops and one-offs and weekends and, you know, um, obviously Joe Cipriano is an amazing coach mentor. It's and fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, but there are some that are doing it and you're like, huh, okay. Yeah. So why have I never heard of you yet? You bill right. yourself as you the know voice of LA's everything. leading voice coach, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Yes. Yeah. So huh. what advice do you have for people? Um, what what are they looking for? What to avoid when they're trying to get their craft built, especially in promo, because it's a very specific skill set. Yeah, I would say if you don't know any of these people, if you're literally like. Um, looking online for a, a workshop and you have no way to connect the dots, read between the lines of their bios and things like that. Mm -hmm. And because you really want somebody who's a, like a top person because yeah. you want somebody who's working in the business now, who understands the, the changes that have gone on over the last five, 10, 20 years, you know what I mean? Right. Not somebody who, who worked back in the 70s and hasn't worked since, you know? Right, yeah. Um, there are people who I don't think are as good. I, I think it, compassion and like an understanding of what the actor goes through and all that sort of stuff is so important in mm -hmm. a teacher. And some people have it, and some people don't. Mm -hmm. yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. You've got to be able to put yourself in their shoes. You know what I mean? Yeah. And 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 be kind. I, I used to have a, a friend who who I worked with, who I, I I called him the master of the of the you know the velvet glove with the knife. You know, yes. Because he, yes. he could give you feedback that would just rip you apart, but it was so beautifully done that you, you never were hurt, you right, know what I mean? Right. And, and that's so key. It's like, the only way you get better is by having people criticize you, you know, and, and give you constructive yeah. feedback. But you gotta have somebody who can give constructive feedback and not just tell you, that was fantastic, that was great, moving on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Well, constructive is the, is the operative word because, you yeah. know, somebody, if it feels like a dagger, it's gonna shut somebody down. Right. Um, right. But also I think, Sometimes people can do it themselves, but they're not always able to communicate how to do it to someone else. Yeah, you know, that's, and that's very, very true. I, and and that, that just drives me a little bit crazy because it's like, why are you teaching? Mm -hmm. But, you know, I don't, there's not much you can do about that other than try to steer people away from those particular exactly. people. Right, right, you know? right. Absolutely. Hey, here's a question for you, man. Obviously, you are a businessman. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're great at probably everything that you do, but first and foremost, you are a businessman and you understand not only this business, but just business in general. Mm -hmm. um, voice actors, for some reason, some of them don't tend to think about the business side of what they do. Yeah. How important do you feel is it for them to understand that they're not the puzzle, that they're just a piece of that puzzle? Mm -hmm. I think that's so critical. You know, I always say that about people when they're auditioning. I'm like, don't take it personally if you don't get the job. Yeah. Because there are so many moving parts that have nothing to do with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think it's really important for you to realize your place, so to speak. Yeah. You know, yes. not, not, not in a small way, but just, but just realize that you are one cog in the wheel. And, you know, and there's so many other things that can uh, affect you getting cast or not getting cast. You know, I always think about this because, like, 
I'm somebody, I think I, I wonder sometimes if I'm a little bit ADD because I can get, you know, oh, squirrel, you know, it's yeah. that, yeah. <laughs> that thing. And it's like, yeah. um, you know, you're listening to auditions and all of a sudden a Facebook message pops up or something like that and you get distracted right. and you're not listening to the person who's auditioning. And, and something as simple as that can make you pass over somebody who's, who could have been really great. Yeah. And the point being, um, there, there could be any number of reasons that you didn't get a job that have nothing to do mm -hmm. with your performance yeah. or who you are or any of yeah. that stuff. Yeah. You know? Very cool. I have to say, man, this is probably, if not the, and I'm not going to say the, <laughs> but it's probably one of the most, my favorite episodes mm -hmm. that we've ever done oh. because you are just so good well, and you. so concise and so direct and yeah. you and you understand it's 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 what, how you're saying what you're saying it's making complete sense to me I know it's making sense to yeah. everybody oh, over there I hope so I hope so and yes. it, fingers are <laughs> notes are being taken absolutely yeah. if somebody doesn't watch this show right here with you on it over and over if they're serious about doing promos right and they're not watching this at least five times and taking notes out of yes. everything you said and applying Both then parts. then you don't want to do promos <laughs> because because it's yeah. so good oh well, thanks so thank good. you thanks. well so i care good. about them I, it's like I, I really want to see people succeed in this yeah, you know you, you do. it's a hard business man you know you have to have patience you have to have talent you have to have a lot of things and it's like you know any, any little bit that i can do to give somebody a leg up you yeah. know yeah it's fantastic well i do you made it about me for a second. Yeah, well, you want to go back to that? Again? Let's go that, back to that, Stacey. That unsolicited moment will live in my journal forever. But I want to make it about you okay. a little bit. Okay. okay, so true or false? Yes. He said yes. So you, it's true. <laughs> you wrote the book, Where's My Wand? Mm. One Boy's Magical Triumph Over Alienation and Shag Carpeting, which was published by Penguin Random House and developed as a sitcom. By yes. ABC. Yes. Ding, ding, ding. True. True. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. I'm hoping I have another one coming out next May, and I'm hoping that that one will have better luck with the development yeah. process. It was yeah. it was a rough go the first time around. Well, when I was researching to to sit with you for us today, um, and I was listening to and reading about your memoir, um, it was heartbreaking and hilarious and inspiring. Um, and one of my favorite things was the late Florence Henderson, oh, yeah. a.k.a. Mrs. Brady, TV mom, said about your memoir, I wish Eric Poole had been a Brady because I would love to have been his mother. She was so freaking delightful, I can't even tell you. We were using her in a radio campaign at Fox. Mm. And after it was done, because I didn't want to do it while she was still working for us because I thought that would be weird for her. Right. After we were done, I asked her if she would blurb the book. And um, I figured I would just like tell her what it was about and, and she would write something and that would be that. Mm -hmm. She went home and read the whole book and she called me crying. And it was the sweetest thing in the world. She was just like, I love this book. And she said, I'll, t I'll, I'll say whatever you want me to say. Oh, and, you know, it was I so love it. sweet. I yeah. love it. Well, we put this together really fast, so I, I'm going to read the whole thing. Oh. Because I was like, oh. <laughs> it's it's so good. I mean, what inspired you to want to do it? It's so well, well written. Well, I started writing just some essays about my childhood, and a friend of mine read one or two, and he said, you need to get into my writing group. Mm. So I got into his writing group, and that's where it became a book. Yeah. And um, and it just, and you know, I've always been a writer, but it was like, you know, I'd spent years in, at this point, you know, doing commercials and, and promos and all this stuff, and I kind of longed for something more. You know, yeah. we all yeah. have creative needs, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. And so um, that really helped me and, and getting to, I was super lucky in the, in the process and stuff, the way I got my agent and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and my editor and all that stuff. And um, I, it was a great experience and, and uh, we should all be that lucky when mm -hmm. it comes to that kind of stuff, you know, that, that it falls into place so easily. Um, so now I've got a second one coming out and I'm working on a third and it's just, that's my little creative happy place so aside awesome. from advertising. Yeah, yeah. You, know. you guys, cool. you can get the, uh, Eric's book, his current book, his new one isn't out till spring of, eight, uh, of 18, but it's, you can get it on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, so get it. It's great. <laughs> Thank you. When you are casting, what's your process? Um, it's just pretty much universally done through agents. I mean, there are, okay. there will be times when I will just go to a specific talent right. through their agent sure. again. Right. Um, just because I know who exactly should do this. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, um, we'll run auditions because you just, it's always good to discover new people. Mm -hmm. um, you never know what you're gonna stumble across, you know? Yeah. So, um, but you know, the, of course, the getting the agent part for most people is like probably the hardest part of the business yeah. and the worst part yeah. of the business because yeah. agents are inundated with people. Mm -hmm. The problem, I think, um, uh, Paul, Paul Doherty was talking about this. 
Um, you know, part of the problem is I think a lot of people approach agents before they're ready. Yes. You know? They make so the they, demo before they're ready, too, well, which exactly is like strike it. one, and then they make that's the demo exactly anyway. It. Yeah. Yeah. Take some classes, find out what your strength is, get to know your voice, you know, then make your demo. Mm -hmm. Go to him. That's very uh, sweet. Thank but, you. Thank you. But you, when sweet. you have a good demo producer, they can they can look at, at the scripts you have or yeah. provide, you know, I, do you provide scripts? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Um, so you, you know what kind of stuff, you can listen to their voice and you'll know what kind of stuff is, is appropriate for them. You have to have a subjective person to help you with that process yeah. because mm -hmm. you cannot do it all on your own. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And getting an agent is just the worst part of the business, but it's it's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to be tenacious. You have to be thoughtful and respectful of the agents because, you know, like, don't think that by calling them every every Monday, you're going to end up with that, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. The, the, yeah. They're, they're inundated and they really don't want to be hassled. You know, be respectful of them. Uh, but the biggest thing is just be prepared. Mm -hmm. You know, when, you, when you're ready to approach agents, you know, when you've got a great demo and you know who you are as a voiceover person and all yeah. that, then you're ready to go and that's great. Don't do it before that because you will shoot yeah. yourself in the foot. Yeah. And you 100%. don't want to be inundated yeah. either because... No. You yeah. have your process, which is not just plucking people off of Twitter or Facebook. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. And so let's, you know, so be hint, respectful. Hint. Yeah. Do right. not be emailing Eric yeah. right. in regards to, hey, and Eric, here's my demo. Sending MP3s. Yeah. yeah. Have your mm -hmm. agent do the contacting of yeah. anything. Yeah. 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 And as much as I like to offer advice, I can't offer advice to everybody who writes to me because it's just of like, course. I, you're, I, would, you're, I would never get yeah. my job yeah. done. We understand <laughs> that. Listen, you've shared enough advice in these episodes mm -hmm. here well, to last. So. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. This can be looped. In, in fact, in if anybody ever says, hey man, can you give me some advice? You say, yeah. Send a Go link. to VLWeekly.com exactly. and watch my episode. Exactly. Send the link, time code between here and here. Yeah, here. Really, really. Exactly. More than you're going to ask me, you're gonna, well, I'm going to answer there. So yeah. there you go. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So great. Um, okay, so this is the mystery question. Uh oh. So you can pick any card. Okay. If you want to read it, you can, or I can read it to you. Okay, read it to me. Okay. He tried to peek at it, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. All right, Eric Poole. Which fabulously impractical car would you like to own? Impractical, because I already Fabulously have the car that I want. Impractical. You I have want the Tesla. car you want? I want a Tesla. No, I have a Lexus, but I want a okay. Tesla. Yes. Um, but that's not really impractical because they're really green it's very and good for the right, environment right, and all that. Right. You know? Okay, I would say I want the Tesla S, which I can't afford. <laughs> um, but I'll buy the three, which yeah. is the new cheaper that's one. That's nice so. you have the bookends. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. Are you on Are you on uh, the list for the new one? I haven't yet because I'm in a lease. So I, I, okay. they're, they're like 18 months out on those cars yeah. right now. Yeah. So I have to wait yeah. a few more months. Just and let, let him perfect it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let the Elon rush. Musk, he does everything yeah. great. Let the rush happen. By the way. The good news is, Eric, is that... You are way more valuable than the Tesla stock. Thank you for thank being you. here. Absolutely. Thank you for making time for us because you divide your time. Well, and it was, thank you. This has been ha we've been going back and forth for a few months, and we so we have, we have. But I wanted to do the show because yes. I love you guys, and I think that you do a fantastic show. So thank you so thank much you to be a part you, of it. And we have mad love and respect for what you do thank and you. all that you bring to the table. It's such a thrill to have you. Thank you for being so generous to our viewers, and Absolutely. you guys have just this master class oh. to, to go from. <laughs> so um, thank you again, and, and we just wish you amazing blessings and abundance. You too. Thank you. Absolutely. Eric Poole, ladies Eric and gentlemen. Poole. And we will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. I'm Eric Poole, and I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. And uh, I, I think my tip for you guys would be patience. Um, this is this is a business that you have to be in for the long haul, and you you know there will be the the occasional person that will happen overnight. But most people, it takes time, it takes patience, it takes perseverance. So just hang in there and know if you feel like you've got talent and you feel like you have something to offer, just know that it's going to take a while and be patient and have have a not a backup plan, but have a way to you know keep your coffers full while you're pursuing this. But um, you really have to want it and love it and work towards it and be patient. All right, guys, that's all we have with Eric Poole. We're going to be back next week with a new episode, so check it out. He is so amazing, right? Absolutely. Totally. Keep up with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, you guys. We love you. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And just remember, you, you always have time, time for, for a little, little buzz. buzz. That's a good one. That was a good one. <laughs>
Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demos That Rock. Rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit DemosThatRock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little...